this video, we're going to show you how to add a volume control to your workshop. For this project, you'll need a 3.3K resistor, a 10K potentiometer, a breadboard, wire cutters, a Phillips head screwdriver, and jumper cables. Our first step is to unplug the workshop. Then, using the Phillips head screwdriver, we'll remove the top four screws. Inside the PCB, there will be screws holding the board to the chassis. These are the screws that you'll need to get ground off of. Simply strip one end of a jumper cable, wrap it around the ground screw, and tighten. For the volume control, we'll need to access the negative 9 voltage taps on the Workstop PCB. These are located at tap 1 and 2 on your board. Take a jumper cable and feed it through either tap 1 or 2. From there, take one of your 10K potentiometers and place it into your breadboard. Run the negative 9 voltage into one of the far pins of the potentiometer. On your middle pin, run your 3.3K resistor. And then, on the opposite end of your potentiometer from the negative 9 volts, run your ground. For the volume control, we'll want to run our signal from the 3.3K resistor into the VCA in. Now's a good time to double check all your connections. If they're all correct, it's OK to plug in your workshop. So as you can see, when I turn the potentiometer, the volume goes up and down. This is because we're pulling from the negative 9 voltage, and the potentiometer is acting as a variable voltage divider. That negative 9 volts is varying and then being sent to our VCA in. The higher the negative voltage, the lower the volume. Now if we switch our VCA setting to on, you'll hear that it's quieter for a much longer period of time in the turn. This is because the VCA in takes a negative 2.5 to positive 2.5 voltage, as opposed to the EG setting where it takes a positive to negative 5 voltage. If this is a feature you'd like to have quicker access to, we're providing 3D printable enclosures on the website. The top just pops off and you can place your breadboard right in the center. By utilizing the control voltage of the workshop, we can extend the functionality with just a few different components. All the parts lists, fritzing models, and 3D printer files are available online at virksch.workshop.com.